me, Bobalore Veggie Vanilla. So, as you may or may not know, I am a huge fan of Gundam. That was pretty clumsy of you. I love Gundam. It is my most favorite anime of all time. Yes, of all time. The GOAT. However, Gundam can get pretty confusing, and I've had a lot of people ask me, which Gundam should I start with? <laughs> Luckily for you, your Supreme Overlord is here to guide the way. Alright, everyone ready? Class is in session. Gundam is split up into different series, and some of these series has their own timeline. There's the Universal Century, Future Century, Correct Century, Cosmic Era, Anno Domini, After War, After Colony, Build Fighters, Regular Century, Post Disaster. Stop it! Stop it! All of these, for the most part, do not correlate with one another, so think of them as alternate universes involving the same trend. Earth, colonies, sometimes another planet, and space. Lots and lots of space. So now that that's out of the way, all that's left is, which one do I watch? It really comes down to preference. Does old school animation tickle your fancy? Or perhaps you prefer newer, more glossier animation? Personally, I love both styles of animation. I'm in it for the characters, the action, and most importantly, the story. Let me be a Xeon soldier. I've always wanted to be a soldier. Well, all right. If you're looking for deep, deep lore, go for the Universal Century. It is packed with lore when you add up not just the main series, but the side stories offered in OVAs, manga, and video games. Should you choose to go this route, I recommend watching it as follows. Mobile Suit Gundam. Gundam 0083 Stardust Memory. Too slow! Ah! Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam. Lucky shot, but I've got one more arm! Mobile Suit Double Zeta Gundam. Sobra! Char's Counterattack. And Gundam Unicorn. By that time, I'm sure you can figure out where to branch out within the Universal Century on what to watch, read, or even play! You could jump into F91... ...or Victory Gundam... They both take place far into the Universal Century. They don't really affect much of the regular storyline. That doesn't diminish their value, though. These two are amazing. If the Universal Century is a little bit too overwhelming to dive into, I suggest Iron-Blooded Orphans. Are you two all right? <laughs> it takes a little to get into, but once it picks up, it really, really picks up. <laughs> you can also try the Below since it's just two seasons. And the movie that I won't talk about. Once you have enough under your belt, feel free to give G Gundam a try. Perhaps some turn A Gundam? Maybe even some Bill Fighters. I'm not that gunplay you Bill! It's arm isn't snapped in right! Uh, oh no! Don't forget Gundam Age. Of course, who can forget Gundam Wing? I'll kill you. Or any other series that you may run into. You'll be a Gundam connoisseur before you know it. Excuse me, I believe you were forgetting about Seed? Uh, say what? Well, yes, you didn't say anything about Seed, so should I watch Seed too? <sighs> Good morning, sleepyhead! I mean, you can? Every series 
always has its perks and flaws. It's just Seed is pretty much flawed in every way, shape, or form. But I will say, completing Seed means you get the commemorative Raspberrian Medal, the I Survived Watching Seed at Seed Destiny Badge. Seriously, don't let my personal opinion sway you to what you like or dislike. Just use me as a guide on where to start and where to go next. It's a long, sometimes confusing journey into Gundam. I am your humble guide. If you have any questions about Gundam, please feel free to DM me on my Instagram. I always answer DMs and always try my best to help out those who are confused or need Gundam guidance. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope this brief introduction helps you out in anything involving Gundam. If you want more in-depth analysis on each series, just let me know and I'll probably make a video of it. Until next time, comrades. Jeek! Jump! Do it. Do it.